Hey guys, you're watching GameSmart, and today we're taking a look at Gwent, in particular, four simple tips to play better, build a better deck, and win more games. So we'll start off with deck building. Tip number one, have a smaller deck so you can more reliably pull the cards you need. The smallest deck you're allowed to have is 25 cards, so it's a good idea to be at or very close to that number. So then, if you put in a counter or something, you have a greater chance of pulling that card in every single game, so you can get off your combos and get off your counters a lot more reliably and smoothly than if you had a max size deck. Tip number two. Gold cards are better than silver cards are better than bronze cards. It's mostly self-explanatory, but there's a reason that you can only have four gold cards and six silver cards in your deck and no duplicates. These cards, these gold and these silver cards, are usually really overpowered and a lot better than the bronze cards, so it's usually a good idea to put them in, although sometimes gold and silver cards can be a bit situational, so first evaluate them against rule number three, which is the rule of eight. Eight is kind of the number that Gwent is balanced around. It appears very often across tons of cards, whether they be eight strength, no special effects, or whether it be a five strength, remove three strength from something else. It, it's all centered around that number eight. So if you can have a card that has an impact of eight strength or higher, so let's say a Scorch can easily remove something from play that is greater than eight strength, that's a good card, so if you can't reliably use a card to get to 8 or more strength, it's not really worth putting in your deck. Like, there's no point in having only one crone when having all three crones is a lot better. Same with, like, a lot of other cards. And the final tip that I honestly think, then I've seen a lot of people break this, is that they don't know when to lose. Gwent is three rounds, so it's okay to drop one. I have seen people just, in the first round, go all out, they either don't know when they're going to lose that round, so they just keep playing, and then they have nothing left for the other rounds, or they just really overwin a round, like you don't really have anything, and you're just kind of trying to get them to keep playing so that they way overwin that round, and then you can win the next ones. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, I hope that these four simple tips help you out and help improve your game. Like and subscribe if you found this content helpful, and as always, don't game hard, game smart.